and now there's uh, a couple other commands we could do sudo smb mount um, you know to mount a share and without having to use the dash t or specify you would just say you know two forward slashes and this time we'll try the host name you know either one ip or the host name if it's mapped out and i, I again i want to map you know i want to map it or want to connect to the share the name of the share on that server and in this case my local folder is what I would map it to. Again, send me password, it'll authenticate. And when I put that in, it'll mount it. Okay, and again, there's that folder. And again, were I to bring up my mount commands, notice you know here it is mounted by hostname. Um, Alright, so again, sudo and you mount and mount me. Alright, so so far we've looked at you know three different ways to do this via sys, via smbfs and via Samba mount. Now there's one more client-side mounting tool um, that you can use called Samba Client and it actually looks kind of like FTP. It's a little bit different from the others. S-M-B-C-L-I-N-T uh, and in this case uh, the syntax would be similar. You'd say you know what you want to mount. So I could use the host name or the IP 207.13.13 um, the you know the share that I want to connect to, and then the local folder that I want to use you know when I mount it in this case. Um, and notice you know, you have a kind of a prompt here, and I could ls, and that would be the contents of the folder there. And just like FTP, I can put in a question mark, and there's m get and you know, get and put and input, things like that. So very, very similar to uh, FTP. And I'm going to go ahead and quit and exit out of this now. All right, so, f you know, four tools that we've looked at from the Linux side. So we're going to look at using some of these commands to connect to Windows machines. The first I'm going to try is a Windows XP professional machine and I'm going to use a uh, sudo mount the dash T option sys to specify the common internet file system two forward slashes 1992073713 the IP address and I believe it is 11 and the host name of this one's called TV by the way I use it as sort of a DVR um, it's just an old box but um, I, I have again I haven't set up DNS at this point for uh, you know for Ubuntu and I haven't added the uh, the mapping to the host file so I need to specify the IP the share name I want to connect to is simply 300 for a 300 gigabyte data drive and I'm gonna connect it here to mount me now unlike when I connect to uh, you know that would that would this would be all I would need if I were connecting to a remote server that was another Ubuntu Linux server via Samba but if it's Windows I need to specify an additional option and that's the username and in this case um, you know this is the username that I, I would log in on, into TV with or into that machine and then I need to specify a password so with that additional option and notice it will load the folder and mount it and you can see you know lots of cartoons and things here for the kids um, and then so sudo so umount and I'm just going to unmount the folder and another thing I could do, um, there's a hidden share. So uh, in, in Windows XP, that's easy to connect to. So I could say sudo and mount and dash t and specify sys and 199.207.13.11. And I'll connect to the same uh, shared hard drive or, or directory and mount it to the same mount point. Remember, unlike with another Linux Ubuntu machine with Windows, you need to specify the username option. So dash o for option username who you know has permission to connect to the share and then enter your password to authenticate and once you authenticate there you are you're connected all right so I'm going to unmount that and that was Windows XP um, let me also do Sorry, I said I was going to do it. This is this is an administrative share. C with a postfix of, of the string operator or a dollar sign, and kind of a neat little neat little feature of Windows XP. Maybe also a security vulnerability, but it'll, it'll take you right to the root drive. You know, Windows program files everything, 
even though it's not explicitly shared it is implicitly shared by default in Windows XP Professional and I believe Windows 7 kind of plugged that it's not as easy to do that in Windows 7 um, but I'm gonna go ahead and you mount and mount me and that was Windows XP Professional So now let's take a look at uh, Windows 7. I'm going to connect to a Windows 7 Ultimate machine. So sudo um, mount-t. Again, I'll specify sys. I'll use the same syntax, 199.207.13. And this time I want to get a different IP address. This is the address of the Windows 7 machine. And the shares I have, there's one I have on here called write. All right. And I'm going to just you know mount it to mount me. Just like with Windows XP, with Windows 7, I need to specify an option. That's username equals, and then whoever has permission on that machine to access that share. So here's a user account that should have permission. And I'm going to enter a password to authenticate. And once I enter the password to authenticate, it'll connect me to the share. And so this is what's in my Windows 7 share. Okay. And again, to dismount the Windows 7 share, sudo umount and mount me. Okay, and notice the little shortcut will disappear off the desktop. Um, I'll connect to a different one instead of right, I'll connect to, there's another one out there shared called movies. Movies 1. And I'll use the same user account. And let me authenticate. And once I authenticate, here are all those movies in that folder. And again, if I were to look at this under the mount command, notice that it's, it's actually mounted you know that over across the network via this IP address that entire you know folder on that partition is mounted to a local folder on my machine via SIFS and it's read write and you could specify other options read only read write there's different options you could specify but um, if I were to go into let me go into mount me and if I were to list the contents of it again it, it looks like you know, it looks like that I'm looking at the contents of the local folder, but tr actually I'm looking at the contents of a network share mounted to that folder. All right, um, I'm in Snow Leopard on an iMac, and I'm going to go use Finder, and I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to make two folders, Data1. And data two, and then I'm going to go over here to system preferences, and I want to enable file sharing. Um, and with file sharing enabled, I'm going to add those shares in. So here's data one, and data two. Then I just want to go to options, and Make sure that you share it over Samba, not AFP, because again, we're going to be connecting to Samba shares. So I'm going to click done. Done. Oh, and also notice, you know, you'll either need to connect via your IP, or you can get your host name here too. In this case, I'm C Germany iMac. I'm going to Ubuntu 10.10 again, and I'm just going to go to root and use the same folder that I created before mount me and I'm gonna I wanna try to mount the Macintosh share now with sifs so sudo mount dash t sifs um, 199.207.207.13.10 was the IP address the name of the folder we shared in Snow Leopard on the iMac was data1 the name of the local folder I want to mount it to is mount me and just like with Windows, you need to specify an option uh, on a Macintosh. So username equals, in this case, I'm gonna, I want to authenticate as C Germany. And then I'm going to enter my password now. And now if you look, I'll bring up my mounted drives. And you can see 199.207.13.10 data 1. So there's the shared folder on my Macintosh and Snow Leopard mounted to the local folder mount me.